What's up, everyone? Batcraft. That's right. It's Bo here from the TV Talk Podcast, and I am whew, finally done with this thing. Look at that. Yeah, so last week we couldn't quite finish because of the lack of brown terracotta. Fortunately, Fox was able to restock, and we have now pretty much given him like all our diamonds, like almost all our diamonds. Like we have very little diamonds left. At some point we're going to need to check our shops and hope that we've got some sales. Cause yeah, all of my diamonds are tied up in this massive building that literally does nothing. Like that is one thing that is kind of bothering me about this. Like, don't get me wrong. It's fine. You know, it's, it's fine. It's definitely a fine building and one that I am, you know, proud of the design for and everything else. It's just, it's, one of the very few buildings right now that has no function. And so we'll need to kind of figure this out. It's a large space. So I just don't know. I'll have to think about it. But uh, speaking on function, I actually decided that I'd probably stay in the condo building I was staying at and then turn the New Orleans condo into my enchanting area. So that's going to be coming together. I'm going to kind of convert this room. I could never really get the bedroom right. So I was like, you know what, let's make it a little library, make it an enchanting area. And I think that'll work out really well. So yeah, this building is finally done, and with it, that means that New New York Town Phase 1 is finally, finally, finally completed. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man, this thing has been massive. Now, you know, we've talked about it. There's going to be more that we're going to end up working on, and that'll be great. But for now, I think our job with the base is going to be done. Um, I'll probably do some interior stuff from time to time. Uh, I know that I will be over the next couple of weeks going on vacation. And so for those weeks, I might put out some interior videos for some of these buildings. But my attention is about to focus pretty substantially on another city, Gotham City. Because today we are meeting with all the bat crafters over at City Hall for our official inauguration of our new mayor to find out all of our new jobs in Gotham and to discuss what our plans are for the first big team build, as well as the way that we're going to handle big team builds on our three and in Gotham in particular. So yeah, I say it's time. Let's go ahead and head over to Gotham and uh, meet up with our fellow bat crafters. Let's go. This is, this is awesome. Actually. All right. So, so Knight, do you want to give us kind of the quick tour here? Well, there's not a whole lot to see, but over here we have our little amphitheater so that the mayor can give his public speeches for the press. Oh, nice. Um, of, of course, I didn't decorate anything uh, because, you know, I figured we'll let Kyle do that and his staff. This floor would be for the DA and whatever shenanigans he might get up to. And here we go to the mayor's office. Oh, the mayor's office. Starting to decorate. Wait, wait, where's the assistant mayor's office? Uh, assistant to the mayor? Uh, maybe I can, I, I'll be up there. I'm here. Uh, so, I just, you get just a make, corner in uh, the DA's office, maybe? Uh, I'll just, just make a little, oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> I could make a little, little, little tiny room up there. Or maybe I could just oh, have yeah. a, I could have a little corner right here, perhaps. <laughs> you know what, this, actually this works well, because then when somebody comes up, I'll uh, they'll be I'll be the first person they see. We'll put a little wall right here, right? And then we're like, oh, do you wish to speak to the mayor? Oh, he's busy right now. <laughs> it's perfect. Well, it's it's coming together though. It's coming together. This this is this is great. Well, uh, first of all, I think you know what? Let's actually let's head to the amphitheater so we can uh, we'll do this right. All right. Yeah. Yes. If everybody will uh, come come take a seat at the uh, in the amphitheater. Very good. Very good. Um, it is my pleasure as the newly named uh, assistant to the mayor to announce the new mayor of Gotham City, Kyle! Thank you. Thank you all for all the votes and everything. Uh, I will, as I said before, not let the city down. Yay! And yay! <laughs> <laughs> Well, very good, very good. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, thank you very much, Please. Mr. Mayor. And uh, now I let my assistant do all the talking. <laughs> I see, I see. Like real mayor. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's got it. He's got the job already. And, and uh, on that note, I believe that all of us, uh, Kyle, you have now officially given us all of us jobs. Is that correct? Yes. Everyone has a job in the city. Did you remember to get a postmaster general? Uh, oh, there's a Not, voice in the sky. Where, where, where did that come from? 
So we have uh, completely, completely breaking the immersion. We've got Will, a uh, disembodied voice, just appearing. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, uh, so yes, so we all have jobs. Uh, uh, actually, Kyle, did you want to come back down here, Mr. Mayor? Uh, we're not yes, quite yes, done yes. with you yet. <clears throat> Do you want to announce yes. the jobs that everybody's doing? Yes, yes. We have here uh, Mr. Uh, Captain York, Jorvik, uh, as the assistant to the mayor. Yeah, yes. yes, yes, yes. Yay! Uh, Knight is the uh, commission, not commissioner. What did I say? Oh man, I, I am the chairman of chairman. the lobbyist group, uh, GGG, also known as the Greener Gotham Group. Thank you, thank you. Oh, interesting. Snow hmm. is in charge of parks and recs, uh, she is going to help with zoning and stuff. Very cool, very cool. So, and... my atlas for the city, yes, yes. And the doc over here is the superintendent of nothing. <laughs> yeah. It's a very important job. It's essential. And, yep. Very and, essential. And the disembodied voice that we all heard before of Will, he is our chief of police. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm sure the I'm sure the League of Heroes will want to work very closely with the, the commissioner. Um we'll need to we need to keep an eye. <laughs> um, okay, great. Great, great. And then uh, uh, Fox, Fox, yeah. Fox is our district attorney. Yay. Oh, great. And Bell is our bank manager slash postmaster general. Yay. Sweet. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I, I was going to mention that uh, on behalf of the Greener Gotham Group, uh, I have gotten approval from Kyle, our mayor, to put our first proposition, our first proposal <laughs> up onto the voting block. Oh. Yay, what is it? Well, I, I guess you'll have to go and look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no no campaign wow, you're for it. No. Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> We're lobbyists. We're a lobbyist. My job is to tell other people how to think, not to tell how people tell people. But you're it. not telling us what the proposition even yeah, is. Yeah, this is your point. This is your chance to like put the spin on <laughs> it and everything. You can pitch us. Here, 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 nice. With the cameras here and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, we got the we got the cameras pitch. on you. Elevator, Elevator pitch. pitch it is. Okay. So in Gotham, we do have plenty of real estate for normal shops, regular shops and stuff, and upper corporate offices, which is very nice, very nice. But I felt the need for a lower, lower income group, the slums of Gotham, oh, wow. or the underbelly, or whatever. Uh, these areas would be rateable shops what? or buildings for villains and give us a purpose for our heroes to patrol and protect the city. Ah, you, so yes what? and no. What? Whatever. Ah, what? uh, wow. Huh. Interesting. Wow. Interesting. Um wow. Uh um yeah, so, so on that note, we'll uh, we'll just go ahead to uh, just night if you'll you'll take uh, <clears throat> take a seat over there. Um <laughs> interesting, interesting. And you approve this, Kyle? I did. I think it's I think it's gonna do great for for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, huh. think about it, Mr. Jorvik. Um, if we don't know where the villains are because they're not being able to perform villainy, how are we able to catch them? Interesting. Well, might I add a twist or propose a bit of a twist to it? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, I mean, like, you know, perhaps an Arkham City of sorts that was really kind of meant to uh, attract and house villains might be a good good spot for something like that, right? Well, I will have to discuss that at the zoning portion after it is either approved or failed. Okay. All right. Let's fair enough. Use you, uh, may I propose? Let's just use New New York Town. Um, disembodied voices don't get a vote. Nobody, no voice. Nobody, no vote. Nobody, no vote. Nobody, no vote. <laughs> All right. Well, good stuff. That's why I'm a lobbyist and I let the politicians do politics. <laughs> well, no, I, I really love the idea of like a PVP zone um, in some form or fashion. The only thing is, is I, I think there might be a way to incorporate the team builds into it. Um, mm -hmm. And so, for example, which is what we're about to talk about. So rather than like creating Gotham slums, which as a hero, I just I can't I can't I can't support Gotham slums. But as a hero, I can support um, building Arkham City. There. Yep. That you saw that. Yeah. What is okay. it? Yep. All right, just just let it be for now. Just let it be for now. Oh. Let it be for now, uh, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, look at Mr. Mayor already stood it up. He already stood it up. <laughs> he's so ready. He's ready to not fail this city. Look it's at a him. New hero. 
That's a hero. <laughs> that is. That is. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so one last order of business, probably the, the most important order of business for the world as a whole is that the time has come for us to begin the team builds. And so we've talked about uh, doing things a little different this time around just because there are a bunch of different builds and we want to kind of, you know, especially as we've been enjoying the city and enjoying kind of the gameplay of the city as a whole. Um, the desire, I think, to fill it out is really high and really strong. And also, I think there's a way to do this collaboratively while also kind of kind of uh, doing it um, what's the word adjacent? No, in, in, in yes. uh, parallel, parallel, parallel. Uh, parallel, yeah. mm-hmm. parallel. Yes. In parallel. parallel to another, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we've, the go, the concept is that we're going to have builders and gatherers. We'll kind of have a chief builder in charge of different projects. And then we'll have kind of a general gathering team that'll work on gathering resources And then the gatherers may also be tapped, um, you know, it may, you know, the builder may ask like, Hey, I need some help with this particular portion. And then whoever's able can jump in. Um, if you know, just because one person's a lead builder on a project doesn't mean that other builders can't work on it. It's just whoever the lead builder is, is kind of taking, you know, the direction or directing who needs what and all that kind of good stuff. And so that's the concept. I believe we're all on board with that. Is that correct? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So Kyle, um, you may uh, take the stage here and let us know uh, who's a builder, who's a gatherer, and what we're all working on, as I know you've been preparing. Yes. Yes, I have. And I give it back to Bo. (laughs) (laughs) Yay. All right. Yes. All right. So there we go. So we've got got three head builders plus kind of night, and then we've got uh, four gatherers, right? Yes. Okay. Good stuff. So then the question becomes um, who uh, like, so uh, running just kind of off the top, off the cuff here, we've got Ace Chemical, we've got Arkham, we've got the Wayne Manor, we've got the Batcave. Uh, Fox isn't here to claim one. So Snow, do you want to claim one of those? I might slightly lean towards Wayne Manor just because of the Another style. Perfect. Another thought that I had was we could all participate on a single group build and try to get knock one out as fast as possible. Uh, I agree. That that could work. I mean, all right, so hang on real quick. So Wayne Manor, since Snow mentioned she likes the collaboration aspect of things, maybe we do kind of the uh, Wayne Manor as the first one with Snow kind of leading the charge and telling us okay. what, what she needs from us. And that way we can kind of all support you in, in uh, that regard. Would that work? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll need, to, uh, I'll need a little time to plan and then I'll, I'll let y'all know. Okay, sounds good. And uh, for, uh, I guess I'll get with Foxy and see if he has a preference on what he wants to be in charge of. And, you know, we'll just kind of make the primary focus Wayne Manor. Foxy and I can kind of do stuff in the background on on some of the other stuff um, just to kind of, you know, have it going. So Wayne Manor is uh, is is the, uh, the charge. Um, Snow, do you know the area where that's going to be built in? Um, I remember the hill. So this is kind of the area that we talked about, but at the same time, Snow, I, I say I would just encourage you to like, you know, spread out, explore kind of the general area around Gotham. Any, does anyone have any suggestions of uh, other than just the whole area? Any? The like, only thing I would suggest is that we find that we find a good cave to go along with it too. Will, are you joining us? I am. I'm in the game. Excellent. Oh, the disembodied voice has a body now. He's become corporeal. Yay! Look! Oh wait! 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 What are you? Are you wearing a little policeman out of it? Oh, look at him! Look at him! Chief O'Hara. It's it so cute! It's so cute! <laughs> oh man, that's great. Suggestion idea, like where I'm at right now, up here on the other mountain. Like it's this mountain's pretty hollow, and it's not. It's near Nanda Parbat, but not near Nanda Parbat, and it's near the mustache. It's between the two. But we could hollow this out and level it out and make a Wayne Manor. I mean, I don't, I don't hate the idea of having Wayne Manor up there overlooking the lower Gotham. I mean, like, I think that would definitely add something kind of cool to the skyline. It would take a lot of work to flatten that mountain. Um, that's, that's something I could do pretty. Yeah, and now that Gotham is kind of being built. I agree that at least for uh, thinking about if I were in Wayne Manor, that would be a preferable place to kind of sit and look out on. This down here, we found this after kind of that initial cave. And this one's actually, I think, more vast than the one that we initially were looking at. Oh, wow. 
Isn't this awesome? God. Yeah, and actually, oh if you come all the way down here, I've got uh, this little geode that I've been harvesting under oh, Gotham for some time. Oh, crap, I just died. No! Where, oh. I, I see your stuff. I see your stuff. I see it. I see it. I see it. I'm going for it. I think I've got most of it. All right. Uh, some of it may have fallen in lava. I'm going for it. Okay. Oh, I think I got most of it. I think I got most of it. Oh, awesome. All right. After seeing that cave, that, that's, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Will's suggestion seems to be a, a solid one with leveling a portion of the mountain and when putting main manor up there. Love that. All right, so after our little team meeting, uh, going through and getting through everything that we need to talk about with the future plans of Gotham, Doc Alien said he needed our help to finish this uh, fight with his alternier, uh, ulterior self. And so I put out the call to Bell, and I think he answered? Hang on, what? What? Hey, that looks a little different. Bell Shack, is that you? No. <laughs> Kyle! What are, you, <laughs> are you filling in for Bell today? See now, no, no, now you have to say yes. Now you have to say yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle, come on down, buddy. So Doc Alien says he needs our help. We need to, we need to help him out. So let's, uh, let's, let's figure out what this, all this is about. All right, let's see what we got here. Doc, Doc, um, it's me and K Kyle Shack. Uh, we're, we're, we're here to, uh, we're here to help, man. What do you need? Oh, come on in. I'll show you what's, uh, what's going on. Okay. My other self is in <gasps> this chamber marked with his signal. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. And then you're here, but, but he's, but he's there. Okay. Exactly. Kyle, Kyle Shack, Kyle Shack. Look at this. Look at this. Like, I want you to, I want you to see this, right? You, you see this, right? What, what, what do we have here? Kyle, do you know what we have here? Well, we've got we've got a doppelganger Doc Allen, a Doc Alien, from an alternate timeline, specifically an alternate timeline that doesn't exist from an alternate Earth. We've got one Doc Alien and another Doc Alien. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is, Kyle? It's a paradox. Yes. It, it's a paradox. <laughs> oh. All right, we got to... <laughs> Fix the paradox. We got we got a doc alien from a timeline that doesn't exist. It's a paradox with a paradox. All right, sorry. I just it, it just it just it came to me that we needed. To... <laughs> All right, doc. All right, doc. So what's going to happen here is in a moment I'm going to go into this other chamber, which is Mo. If you push the buttons on Sid here, okay. Purple, black, and then blue. Okay. Then open the trap door and flip the switch one time locked in. Okay. It'll do the work. That dock over there will disappear. And in, in this chamber, a new version of us will show up. But there will be only one of me. All right. All right. And this, this one of you will not be insane? It's possible, but that's what your machine's for. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. All right. Here we go. So, uh. Shut the door. Oh. Shut the door. I need you to shut it. Nope. Sorry. Um. <clears throat> All right, purple, black, green. All right, Kalshak, flick the leather. Oh, it's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Doc, you look different. So you're good now? Is that personality is currently in control but i don't know how long it will last he is still part of me so that's where i'm hoping that with your machine that you built over there on the nexus peak how it can help me get myself all together without these splinters interesting okay well yes camo would be more than happy to help with that uh, i'll I'll, uh, I'll get it programmed and we'll get you we'll get you set up man Thank you, Kyle Shack. Thank you for filling in for Bell. <laughs> All right. And we got Doc Alien back to good? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. We, uh, we're going to help him with that, though. We are going to make sure that he is doing okay. And that is exactly the kind of thing that we built Camo for. So we'll get that all programmed and hopefully we'll be able to get him up there pretty soon. Just make sure that his mind is right and all that kind of good stuff. 
Now, I want to be very specific, not because we're forcing it upon him. He has requested this. We don't want to force that kind of help on anybody. We are literally here to help. That is what Camo is all about. It's about finding ways to help our friends. And yeah, through, uh, through a lot of different ways. So I'm looking forward to exploring that more. All right, so Wayne Manor is going to be our big team build, and it looks like we're going to build it up here. We need to kind of shave off this mountain slash, you know, slice it off. And I'm going to help out the bat crafters by kind of showcasing where we need to kind of build it down to. Now, I think we are going... Okay, there we go. This seems to be the good spot for it. Yeah, basically right here. Uh, let's see. Oops. Oop, oop. Let's see if we get a little bit further back. And yeah, so basically if we kind of get rid of this peak down to the line there, I think that should do it. Let's see what it looks like from the ground. And there we go. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool having Wayne Manor up there. I think I think that'd be awesome. It'd be kind of overlooking the, uh, the you know, the, the lower lower tier Gotham, you know? And I think that that would, you know, build up some resentment, I think, in some of the mindset of many of us Gothamites to have to kind of toil and trade down here, but then look up and see Wayne Manor standing above us and think, oh, that, that Bruce Wayne, he doesn't care about us. But then Batman comes in and saves the day and we're like, oh yeah, we love Batman. Yeah, go Batman. So I don't know. I just, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here, but I think that's going to work out well. I think that'll work out nice. Man, Valenco is looking good. That should be plenty of space, I would think. And I believe this peak is mostly hollow. Ooh, well, maybe not, maybe not extremely hollow, but regardless, there's plenty of room to work with for snow. And we may need to kind of, yeah, we'll need to kind of naturally connect this peak with the mustachioed bandits um, HQ. Although I feel like we need to turn that into a bat at some point. That needs to happen. Uh, all right, so there you go. That is what we need to do, and that is what we will be working on. Um, I don't know how much we'll actually have done kind of getting rid of that thing between now and next episode. Maybe next episode we'll spend a lot of time getting rid of that thing. Who knows? But uh, one way or the other, stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Big shout out to all the Bat Crafters who was able to make our big team meeting. And until next time, goodbye!